fire it up! The White Phoenix welcomes you guys to Nexus, the Jupiter Incident. Well then, um, this is not a game I was planning on playing anytime soon. I would have gotten to it somewhere along the line because there's many, many games in my collection I'd like to play on this channel. But um, this one's come to my attention uh, for reasons. Uh, but this game is a space strategy game, which it's not very it's not very new at all. It's from about 2004, if I read correctly. I might be wrong, don't quote me on that. I'm not good with my dates. Um, and it's kind of an underrated gem. It was a commercial failure, but it's a pretty neat game. It's got some neat concepts going on in it. So I'm going to start a new campaign here. I'm going to go on beginning because I don't really have a tactical mind a lot of the time. I'm not, I'm not some awesome armchair general or anything. I do enjoy my strategy games, but I'm not brilliant at them. Marcus Cromwell, so anyway, Captain's Log. story time. 0309-2111. Captain's Log. We have left Earth Sector. Our destination is Jupiter. Space tech. Almost eight months. The Microsoft of space, perhaps. On the way, we're perhaps. picking up two space tech cargo ships. They're waiting mm -hmm. in orbit around the moon. I have been assigned as the leader of the convoy. Yes. Oh, five, I like nine, his voice. It's very, the two very assured. Their crews are minimal, but the two captains could talk the rivets out of a bunkhead. <laughs> Lovely. It's going to be a long eight months. Yeah, it's an eight-month journey. There's no sort of warp us. speed or in this sort of thing, and I like that. Flag, but the captain, Francis DeLorean, is an old friend of mine. Yay, it's here for old friends in space. 0712-2111. I joined the firm three years ago. So much has happened since then. The Mars quarantine, the Ceres crisis. I wonder if this mission will be remembered as the Jupiter incident. Dun dun dun, the game's title. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see that. They're not relying on things like warp speed and such. 2111. This is a like fairly a realistic gift. representation of what arrived, space travel would actually be like. Schedule. Francis hasn't changed. It's good to see the old man again. Yay! Oh god, I apologize for skipping video. It did this on the intro of a game as well. This mission may yet be known as the Jupiter Incident. Space tech spy satellites are broadcasting some alarming pictures. The Ooh, Kasaki that Syndicate's good. recent activities have generated a lot of attention. I suspect it's no accident. It's not like the Yakuza at the way there. It's reassuring to have the ISA on our side. Ooh, it's going on out there in deep space. The final briefing has arrived. Mission template, reconnaissance, espionage. Mission template. The Kasaki I like Risa's template. Prowess has the mega corporations running scared. According mm. to our intelligence, the source of their revolutionary advances is the Shokenja Research Station. Yeah, it's all about corporations and stuff. Our yeah. task is going to involve surveillance of the station. Cromwell used to be in the ISA. It was or a hostile incursion, if those are our orders. Every corporation in existence would love to pry into the Syndicate's research data. The situation is tense. A confrontation is almost Ooh. inevitable. 2004-2112. Good job, where are we? Where, where are you? Sector, and will soon reach Europa. The convoy is heading towards the twin stations Sunflower and Michelangelo. We're receiving a code red from the Traffic. base. It entails the highest level of corporate security measures. Ooh, we have a code red, people. Here we go, the first mission. It's a pretty simple one. It's, it's basically a tutorial of sorts. I need to sort of reacquaint myself with the game more, so. Oh, I, d I will know if you are planning on playing this yourself. Uh, for, for it needs a couple of fixes to attain best compatibility. I recommend you download the uh, Datu. You, you know why you need that. TTC I'm sorry, get drowned out by stuff. Welcome to Jupiter Sector. Thank you, Michael. Welcome to Jupiter Sector. Welcome to Jupiter Sector. I'm handing the ships over to you. I can't Whoops. believe I'm speaking with the Captain Cromwell. They're all talking about you back at the station, sir. It's not often we get celebrities out here. Did you have a I don't want to be a celebrity. Pleasant? That's not the word I'd use. The most exciting thing <laughs> to happen in eight months was the toilet backing up. <laughs> wow, that's bad. 
Right, so before we press on, let's have a look around. You could you could uh, maneuver the camera around a la homework, which is nice. Look at this game, by the way. This doesn't feel like a game from 2004 to me. I love how this looks. You've got proper lighting, lovely textures. Even the backgrounds look very spacey. Um, yeah, there's your own units on the left hand side. These are neutral and enemy units. Uh, there's the status of your current ship you have selected. And down here are all the different orders you can give to your ship. It's it's not the worst interface I've ever used, but it's a little tricky to remember things under pressure, which is probably where I'm going to fall down on this. Right, so yes, so I command V stiletto here, and a nice touch I really like when I find it is, oh, I can't see it. I'll show you. Uh, there, the ship's name is actually written on the side. I do like that. I'll explain why that's cool later on. Yes. You select a target, you get the target info. The, yes, you get your objectives down here, which I have none at the moment. You can read dialogues. And you pause the game with space, which is quite handy. Yes, I stopped time! There we go, I'm the master of time and space. I wish, right. I have transmitted so anyway. the coordinates to each of the ships. Please stand by in the designated navigation area. It's a cool ship Stay design as well. Asteroids. We're on a level two alert. That's the ship. Maybe I do have central sections to generate anti-gravity or something like that. Red. Yes, Captain, I know. We had an accident a few mm, days ago that left four people dead, that's so why. the check-in protocols have been stepped up. The Sunflower right. is ready to receive you. Let's go. Camera focus. If you left-click on any object, the camera turns in that direction. Yep. If you double-click, you can jump to the object. So I'm going to take a look at Aerospace 4 there. It's the snail. And there's a Michelangelo. I can go back to the ship at will. That's quite cool how you can look around and stuff. Zoom in, zoom out, and rotate. Whee. Look at that pretty shit model, All right? All right, then. Let's Talking do this. To Stiletto, we're leaving the convoy and continuing Hello, to push the ISA base. It's been a pleasure traveling with you, Marcus. Dog with us next time you're in the neighborhood. Ooh. I'll be more than happy to give you a rematch. Maybe Is he Irish? He feels Irish to me. Streak. I might just take you up on he this sounds project. Irish. He's talking about look, he must be though. Irish. Stratagos is all about strength of tactics. Mm. Luck doesn't come into it. <laughs> Ooh, very technical buyer out, Captain Cornwell. Until next time, hawking out. Goodbye, Yay, hawking. right. Well, to See you later. later. Thanks for the escort, Captain. Traveling with oh, you. There, definitely, he's definitely Your Irish. Cross again <laughs> soon. Yay. Stiletto, approach the designated nav point. Right, okay. You can either click F2 at the bottom to issue a move command, or I can simply right click the target. Yes, sir. Like so. That does make it a bit easier. Mm -hmm. That's good. See, and in fact, intelligent enough to avoid each other. Well, they're supposed to be. This game is not We're without its flaws, as you will see hey, later Greg. on. We're mm. I love games that give you lots of calm chat. I like the atmosphere of this game. Wow, you can look Come out and see the whole thing. See you later, Hawking. Or shall we discuss the time <laughs> you challenged that lieutenant to a drinking contest and wound up stripping down to your luminescent frog show? Oh my. <laughs> what? Okay. Luminescent we'll frog show? Smell out. Okay. Might want to get your fashion sense checked there, my friend. Nah, I won't judge really. You can wear whatever you want. Out in deep space, no one can judge you. Okay, so I'm seeing to the nav point. There's obviously some heavy security set up around here due to corporate shenanigans. Yeah, you know, your character Marcus Cromwell, uh, his dad was kind of first baby born in space. He disappeared or something. He went into the military. He ended up getting shot down and frozen in stasis for about 10 years and he got frozen out and he got seen as a war hero despite the fact that the corporations Time won complete. this war. Which is why the corporations now have the dominant sort of the presence in space. Alrighty. Yay, fighter ships. He's an ace, you can tell. Attention, Ooh. Stiletto, the minefield protecting the sunflower is... It's weird following the fighters around. Copy that, 
Right, so survive field protect the base, we don't want to end up tripping it. You can start off now, we're going to catch up. Right. Yes, sir. Let's head for the Sunflower Base. I love that the way the engines fire up. And if you see the camera in like this, it's like you get an actual backwash of the engine, that's a nice touch. So that was a good ship. Right. So onwards to Sunflower Base. But as I said, uh, the, re Davin, the reason I've been playing, I've started to play this again, is I've recently been position. watching... We have the minefield. Oh right. F3 is a stop. Cut the engines, and we've got engines on the front for retros. Fire our retro rockets! Yes. Good stuff. Nice. Just little maneuvers like that. Oh, listen to that for silence of space. But yes, I've been watching Scott Manley's play for this, and it, it's made me want to give the game a try again. Um, I highly recommend you go check out his channel and his play for this, because not only is he an avid gamer, he also has a very cool Scottish accent, and he's an astrophysicist, I do believe, so he actually knows what he's talking about when it comes to... St boy, what? What? Oh, right. Whoa. i got to head back to the Go. Let him go. This was the first, yes, check out Scott Manley's channel. He is <laughs> rather good at this stuff. Right. Anywho, no, more chatter. That's a huh? fairly light presence, isn't it? Sir, aren't you the Marcus Cromwell? Feel free to come over when you're through with your duties. I'll have someone show you around. How nice. Thank you, sir. I'll do that, sir. Uh, sir. May and the inner fun boy comes out. <laughs> I'd be honoured to meet the great Marcus Cromwell in person. I mean, if you have time, sir. That is, I don't mean to impose, sir. It's just with pleasure. I started as a fighter pilot myself. Oh, well. Good for you. God, I can't get over how awesome this game actually looks. I hate it when a game like this goes to waste. Because, like I said, it was a commercial failure. I don't know who. It's Mythos Entertainment who developed it, I'm not sure where they're from or anything. I do know that the engine of the game, the Black Sun engine, was custom designed for this game. And they did attempt a Kickstarter for a sequel, Nexus 2, a while Hello. back, but it failed. One of the mines didn't activate properly. I've marked it for you. Get the hell out of there. Uh oh, we got problems. Right, uh F4 and then uh, Reverse! Ho! Oh! Run away! Very fast! Mines are bad things. Whoosh! But yeah, this mission is essentially just a tutorial to get you to used to actually moving the ships around. You will be commanding sets of ships later on, which can get difficult at a time. Ooh, but mine's coming at me! No! Run away! Run! Alright, I managed to deactivate it. Crisis averted. You can That's continue cool. to that the base. Cool. Be cool, people. Be cool, be cool. Chill out, people. I could've just blasted the thing anyway. Mr. Lettle's got a good, a decent amount of weaponry. Alright, about turn, my friends, about turn! This is equivalent to a three-point turn in space, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, yes. I love the way it moves! As if, I think, if we are ever to attain space travel in real life, it'll be similar to this. Not warping from point to point in a matter of minutes, but... Eight months of travel. Can you imagine that? Eight months of travel through this void, knowing things could go wrong and such. And there's Jupiter looming ominously in the background. Look, when I zoom it out, you can see the depth of field of the asteroid field. Very nicely done. Right, we are now on approach to the Sunflower Base. Not uh, buying any more incidents. Thanks for warning us. What's the latest Ooh. news? Give us the skinny, give us the gossip. The corporation introduced a global Weirdest dispatcher in voice space, ever. The sector remains calm, sir. A long sword class heavy I swear that was meant to be a last the original, but then they probably couldn't get someone in to voice this I person, see. so I don't know. Can you That's my thing. I'm requesting an encoded channel. Of course, sir. Oh, yes. One moment, please. I'll take it in my ready room. Alright, we've reached the base. Greetings, Another I'm stereotypical uh, Irishman. <laughs> the voices in this game are interesting. Marcus Cromwell is a good one for. 
I swear I've heard him somewhere before, Cromwell's voice, but I can't put a finger on it. And that is the end of the tutorial mission. Roughly eight months after your departure, you have success successfully arrived at the Jupiter base of the Space Tech Research Syndicate. Colonel Finn Goldburn is going to inform you about your duties soon. Finn Goldburn, that is such an Irish name. Right, well, we continue. Now on to briefings. Oh, I was mentioning before, the briefings and such get a bit screwed up on modern day widescreen uh, monitors and such, but there is a fix for it that you can find. It's called widescreen briefings. Welcome, Captain um, really Cromwell. Oh. The Sunflower's light corvettes have I'll inspired to the interrupt. espionage satellites you delivered Go a few ahead, days Colonel. ago. The results are rather promising. The radius of the sensors has increased significantly. One of Corporate them has already espionage. provided us with some very useful information. We have managed to locate and identify the Ronin cargo Ooh. ship of the Kisaki Syndicate. Aha! So we are going after them. Whoosh. Look this, it's... You feel so small looking at this. Oh, this is just the area around Jupiter. It is flying directly towards the Shukenja base. It won't stop at the Michelangelo. Right. Captain, your task is to meet with the ship at the given coordinates. Oh yes, then to meet with the ship. Cargo. Reports show that the Ronin is not armed with military-grade weaponry, and no escort mm. ships have been detected. Take an awful risk, aren't they? What are the Kisaki hiding? Right, so we have a briefing scene. So there's the Ronin. Yeah, own fleet. Kisaki transport. Yes. Very cool. Oh, they go astronomical as well. Right, so... Oh. Oh, there's a timeline or something. Yes. Oh, Richard Cromwell. Yes. Lots of random things. I don't know why. Oh, events. Oh yeah, this is an important one. Another catastrophe. The ISA forces a desperate attempt to lead space research and it launches Noah's Ark from the Wormhole with 500 hibernated settlers and a million unit gene pool on board. According to the analysts, the spectacular experiment is 50 years ahead of its time and it ends up in an even more spectacular catastrophe. That's important for later on, just so you know. Right, anywho. Uh, let's get on with this. I'm just looking at all this stuff down here. There's, you can replay parts of briefing, but I'm not going to do that. Right. Okay, so let's get out of the mission. This is essentially the second uh, tutorial mission. We're neither bored of the Jupiter sector. It's 2112. Wow. Over a hundred years in the future. Right, we're just to still. The Ronin should appear on our at any He's got a more sort of Sir, dutiful officer of voice objects. ever. He's a guy you can rely fight. on. Right. To choose the proper tactics, you have to be aware of the strengths and abilities of the enemy. This is where recon helps. Besides the detection of the enemy, it's also important to know whether the enemy can detect us or not. First, we've detected the enemy. We can't detect the enemy as of yet. Right. Several factors influence the effectiveness of detection. Right, look of course. So so much for luck not counting on things, Marcus. Luck is always important. Right. Yeah. Okay. Passive sensors. Okay. So let's just uh right aye, aye, on you. Let's get detection started. Fire it up, stiletto. Oh, we have some stuff on board as well. Ooh, we have Gemini fighters and a commando squad. Ooh, we're gonna board. Well, yeah, because we're gonna board the ship. That's right. We're much further away now. Did we take a really long way around to get here? I don't know. Unless that was you, roll press on for not Jupiter. I'm confused. Never mind. We can't actually click on the object at the moment. Right. So anyway, still that was moving through deep space. Look at that. We're way out in empty deep space, not another Learned. ship around. We have detected a second object. The oh, is not oh. Hmm. Should I scan the ruler of this other object? Is this an escort ship? Most likely. Hmm. Well, get weapons ready. Hmm. 
I don't know what's tactical by the person, I'm likely to shoot first and ask questions later most of the time. But then again, I'm on a mission of peace, I'm not here to mess things Ronin. around. Got it. Survives for Ronin. Oh! Oh! What is that? That's... I hope that's not a battleship of some description. What do we have here then? That is a big, long transporter ship. Ooh. It's launching something. The unknown ship has broadcast its ID. Right. It appears to be the Kisaki freighter Bihimosu. The Ronin sister Bihimosu. ship. We're detecting a strange energy pattern. If it's a I suspect target, that's a lie. Unusual. That doesn't look like a Kasaki ship to me. That's for Ronin. It can't what be. on earth Sir, is that? This is no cargo freighter. Nope, that's a fake ID. What are you? Something's happening. Its energy levels are rising Ooh. exponentially. Our sensors are scrambled. Oh, warp speed! Oh! And whoosh! Wow! So much for no warp speed, then. It's obviously some kind of technological advance to vessel. It. It's a space drive, sir. It seems to be based Ooh, on principles I don't now? even. Captain, this is impossible. We cannot. It's uh, closer I mean, distance. Technology like this simply cannot Ooh. exist. Well, it looks like someone. Kisaki, bit of Kisaki, that continue to pursue the. Yeah, room. indeed. We have to learn more about this. They've been Target researching Ronin stuff, but I doubt it's just faster than light travel. Immediately. Stiletto. This is the Ronin. Mm. Keep your distance. This Stereotypical Asian dude. The Sector Earth Treaty formally prescribes mm -hmm. the transportation of contraband. According to paragraph 28, clause C, we have the right to inspect your cargo base. Wow, he knows his stuff. I'm impressed, Captain. Inspection. You have no right to inspect us. Any oh attempt to do boy. so will be considered an act of piracy. Are you prepared to risk an armed conflict between our oh, two corporations, Stiletto? Threats. Halt immediately threats. or we will open fire. Yeah, it's taking it down, eh? Not slowing down. Should we give them a wake-up call? Right. To attack ship still driving. Right. Right. Okay, so let's open fire. All units, attack! Uh, bring all weapons to bear on that vessel! Ooh. Fire! Ooh, big powerful guns we're using here. That's a freight. This shouldn't take too long. We're doing a good bit of damage, so. Oh, yeah. Let's see what I did see what he's doing. Wow, ooh, you can feel that. There's no shields either, it's just hull. Whoa, look at that. There's damage effects as well. That looks really cool. We're giving this thing a pounding. Surrender. Aye, aye, I'm sir. glad you've changed your minds. Okay, Prepare stop to receive firing the now. Team. We will not permit right. you to board. We'll mm. blow your commando ferry out of the sky. Ooh. We'll see, Ronan. Oh, oh, right. Yes, I know what we're going to do here. We need to disable this. Flak goods will shoot down fighters and such. So, no, it won't let me. Ah, now it's doing it. Right, it's supposed to let me do that. Attack device. Um, yes, that's it. Yes, sir. Because I selected a device up there, the stiletto will attempt to target that device. Let's see, yeah. Let's see what it's hitting. Yeah, it's taking good shots at it. I don't know if it's quite doing it, though. Alright, it's moving in position. Do your stuff, stiletto. Lock all phasers on that vessel! They look like phasers, they're actually lasers, but similar thing. They, they do look like Star Trek phasers a lot. Shh! Not quite. Yay, we did it. Let's just destroy it for good measure. Yay, pew pew, all the lasers. Well, a threat is hardly a big threat, is it? Pew 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 Sir, pew. The flak cannon has been destroyed. The Ronin right. is deploying fighters. How are you under attack? Oh, damn Morning. it. Incoming enemy yeah. fighters. Oh, right. Hold on, hold on. Where, where, the, whoa, 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 whoa. 
All right, deploy our fighters. Our fighters? Yes, our fighters are up. We got oh, our own flat card as well. They are going to destroy it. Our squadrons are under attack. Engage and destroy them. I want us to follow these guys. Yes, dog fighting time. Pew pew pew. Ooh, dramatic music and gitch! All right, I think our fighters are superior though. Ooh, pew pew pew. Oh, that's a pretty light show. Ooh. This gear does look really nice. I keep saying that. Weapon disabled. What? What? How did I disable it? Oh, damn it. That's not good. Uh, Alright. Um, can I get you to sort of orbit or something? Yeah, if it knocked out our fucking flat gun. Damn it. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, we're taking a lot of hits here. Uh... Right, why are my fighters not killing these things? Uh, right, let me try and attack this. No, we can't, damn it. It was just knocked out my flat gun. Uh, okay, that's not so good. Uh, I don't know how to bring up the device list for the stiletto. There's a way to do that, I forgot. Oh, oh I think we're winning. The green lists are our fighters, so they're winning, yes. Go on, finish him off! There's only one of them left. Yep, he's nearly dead. He's nearly very, very, very dead. All targets locked on. We are the ace of this sector. Yay! Alright, we turn home, guys. Why are you firing at the ship still? I didn't order you to do that. Okay, now, commando units. Deploy them. Oh, this is cool. Commandos dispatched. Let's follow them on their journey. All right, man, you have one job and one job only. See what the devil's going on on this ship. This ought to be interesting. I like this. Stuff. Moving towards cargo Yet another this Scot. Is this is Scotsman, not an Irishman. Now Scots will make Looking great commandos. Let's face it. Sir? I think we've hit the jackpot. Ooh, jackpot. What do you think, though, dear? Aside from a cache of illegal weapons, no surprises there. Mm. They carry large amounts of highly unusual equipment, far more than a research station would ever need. We Ooh. found containers made from an alloy of this before. Thickens. They seem to disperse energy rays. Our scans can't penetrate them. As far as I'm aware, no material can do that. Are they shooting at us? Everything you can. Was that us shooting? Just keeping their weapon down. I don't know. All right, head on home, guys. Sample, Commando out. Commando are That's good. That's good. Ah, there, no, return it to ship. Yes. Good job, soldiers. Right. So what now? Yes, he's landing. Complete, sir. Shall we depart? Permission granted. Let's head for the sunflower. Right. All that. right. Mission complete, folks. Mission complete. Well, the strong opposition of the Kasaki Syndicate has caused some diplomatic problems. The information obtained during a successful mission... The, the, successful mission... The, uh, <coughs> oh, gosh. Successful mission compensated for these difficulties. Discovering the ship of alien origin... Uh, yep, it's an alien ship. And the inspection of the Ronin provided several important pieces of information concerning the scientific advancement of the Kasaki. We need to build upon these discoveries without delay. So, Kasaki's been up to no good with an alien ship, have they? Oh, we'll have to see what happens. Destroyed boats? Well, spaceships are kind of, It's kind of naval nomenclature, isn't it? Right, uh, so that was Nexus, the Jupiter incident. I'll be carrying on and playing some more of this. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share if you did so. You can get the game on Steam and GOG. I'm playing the GOG version. I have a physical copy version as well, which is quite nice. So I have... Um, I don't have it on Steam, I've got a GOG. Um, but it's pre pretty cheap. Very un underrated game. And it's got a very interesting mod as well, which I'm going to try and play at some point as well. Right then, guys. Uh, you know how it goes. Keep your fire burning! And I'll see you guys next time. Fire is real! Alright, see if I can get this. This, this would be quite nice. No, no, not even close, is it? Oh, he's behind me. Oh, why? You had one job, little thing, dude. 
you had one job. Guys, what is the ice? It's like we're not messing around. Hey, dude, I will be missing that. Hey, dude, watch out! Right, who's really shooting at me? Oh, bloody the interceptor. Ah, I'm dead! Oh, that, that didn't go so well. 